I'm very hoarse tonight. I have to apologize. I have a sore throat. Jerry knows why. I know why. Enough said. <laughs> who stars in the HBO series Curb Your Enthusiasm. Very funny and talented actress and comedian who stars on HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm. She also written a book called, what would uh, Susie say? <laughs> Susie Esmond! Susie Esmond! Over yesterday, you went to the bathroom and you choked it on Sammy's teddy bear as some kind of revenge masturbatory payback. Okay, I didn't do that. I, oh, I don't bullshit, know. you're a fucking what? liar. Yeah, I, what, I did that? Yes, Are you, you did. crazy? Huh? That's Jacqueline, right? Who the fuck is this? Who's this? That's uh, Leon, Loretta's brother. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Mm. Tell you one thing, a lug of one with a smart ass mouth like that. Yeah, well, fuck you two. Mm. I was speechless, which is something I'm not, generally. Shut up, you bastard, shut up! I'm very close to putting him in the oven, Andy, I have to tell you. These days, she's one of the voices in the new animated film from Disney called Bolt. You hungry? Bolt, look at me. I'm fine, see? It's talking to the claws. <laughs> I'll get my ball. Who are you? Okay, so all nice work. Let's find some mustard next time, okay, babe? Yes, Mittens. Thank you, Mittens. Susie Essman from Kirby Enthusiasm plays the role of Mittens, and, and when we were casting the role, we really wanted somebody who had an authentic New York accent. Yeah, I did my time in one of these, but I'm more of an alley cat at heart, you know? Sprung out, first chance I got. I never looked back. You're a sick fuck, you know that? Pervert, you sick fuck. Herbert, you have some fetish about bra. Oh, get out of here. Get with fetish. Cheryl, with me. Get I don't out. know what the hell it is, but it's sick. And you better fix those goddamn shoes, too. Okay. It's sick, Jeff. You don't jerk off in somebody else's home. And Cheryl kicked him out? Yeah, she banned him. Really? Who the fuck is she to tell my husband what to do? Can you have those flowers? You want the flowers? Take the oh, flowers. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, it's Jeffrey Gurian here for Comedy Matters TV, and I am, uh, you know, I'm at the Friars Club, and I'm looking for people to tape something, any kind of a message for Susie Essman. I wanted to go someplace that I thought was fitting, so I went to the men's room, and I ran into somebody who uh, actually knows Susie. Susie, I'm, uh, you know, Actually, it was she, she stole that uh, location. I, I, I wanted to come to the men's room, not because I go to the bathroom 100 times an hour, but because I know you're being honored. Have a great gala, number one. It's a very important gala. I know you're one of the people being honored, the 15th person being honored there for a comedian of distinction. <coughs> Susie, I love you. I think you should have won an Emmy in the last 10 years, no one has been more authentically funny than you on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Applause, please, applause. <laughs> Not even nominated for an Emmy, that was a Shonda. But comedian of distinction, I have followed you many times when we toured together and you let me go on last because I've been doing this 45 years. And you, you think it's uh, easy when you come out and right out of the gate, say uh, what things like I was on Sesame Street and V is for vagina, little boy. This is not distinguished. This is, you know what I'm saying? You're hilarious, but he hacked at this kind of stuff. You are an explosively funny, filthy, 
undistinguished comedian who happens to be brilliant and lovable and one of the great comedians of your generation. Congratulations, and now I got to take a leak. Cheers. Jared, you know, you, you, are you comfortable there? Not really. No. <laughs> well, but you're so cute and adorable, and I just, yes, I just find it hard to say all those kinds of mean, sexual things about you. But then I look at this dais, and I think, these other miserable <laughs> suckers I could have a field day with. <laughs> Alan King, Alan, do you ever think you'd live so long that your prostate would be as big as your ego? <laughs> Susie, you know I adore you and love you, and I wish you the best, and congratulations on this completely unknown award. No one deserves it more than you. The Gold Coast Film Festival in Long Island, I'm so happy for you. 1937, I did a film called The Gold Coast. It was an unknown motion picture, it was a big bomb. But I was quite, quite successful in the role that I had to capture. But I love you, and I adore you. You know, this is after two shows that I'm doing this because I love you. So congratulations. I'll see you at dinner in a few weeks. Maury Povich is here. You know, Maury, I've always wondered why you married Connie Chung. And then I realized, we all know Jews love to eat Chinese. <laughs> Hey, Suze, I really tried to get JB smooth, but this was the best I could do. Hey, Susie, uh, congratulations on winning your uh, award from the Gold Coast International Films uh, Festival. No one knows what the fuck that is. Uh, I'm sorry it's just me. JB smooth was out to dinner, and all the Wayans were doing movies. So I love you. I'm proud of you. You're a ballsy, hilarious woman. Uh, you're a broad, and there haven't been many of them around. Lucille Ball, Roseanne Barr, I count you among them. I'm glad you're getting an award from a group you've never fucking heard of. Uh, I hope you drink their drinks, eat their food, take their award, <laughs> and have a great time. All right, Susie, love you. You know who I ran into recently? Paul Herzik. And uh -huh. it reminded me of the story where you started. This guy found you at, at Comedy U, right? It's, Comedy U, right? It, there's a, a number of people that say they discovered me. Paul Herzik and Burt Levitt actually Burt Levitt, did. Right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. actually did. And if I remember correctly. When I, when I was at, the first time I ever got on stage was an open mic at a place on Carmine Street called Mostly Magic. Mm -hmm. And Paul and Burt were there. And... Um, I did not know that I was going to be a comedian at that time. I did it on a dare, and I got up, and they were there, and they came over to me afterwards, and they said, we're opening up a comedy club, and we really liked you. Would you like to come work at a club? I was like, yeah, sure. And I gave them my number. I it never... Was the first time on stage. Yeah, right? and I never got up on stage again. And then about three months later, they called me. Hi, we opened up the club. You want to come down and do 10 minutes? And me being an idiot, because I didn't understand what 10 minutes was, I said, yeah, okay. I didn't have 10 minutes. I didn't have 10 minutes. So I sat down and I wrote 10 minutes. You know, most of it was not that great. But they kept on hiring me and kept on hiring me. And I worked exclusively at their club for six months. I never went uptown to the uptown clubs. And I, I still contend today, if it wasn't for them, I don't know if I would have become a comedian because... You thought that you'd be a comedic actress. Uh, was your plan? My when I was growing up was Carol Burnett. Mm -hmm. And that's what I thought I was going to do, was sketch comedy. So that's who I thought I... But then I realized, being around comedians, that I had to find my own voice. And wherever you go, do people ask you to call them a fat fuck? Absolutely. Yeah, still, right? That's the universal yeah, across the, universal the country, thing. across the world. And you came up with that, right? Uh, yes, I proudly say I came up yeah. with that. <laughs> How fun is that? How fun is that to be on a, a show like that? Right? It's the most fun. And, it, you know, it, it, we have so much fun shooting that show. And I just feel, uh, I feel incredibly privileged to be on that, to be on a show. You know, it's great to have a job in this business, a, a job on TV where you make money. But to be on a show that I would actually watch, well, yeah, right. that I could be exactly. proud of, right. that, that, that I just think is, is so brilliant. I, I, I just feel like the luckiest girl in the world. Yeah.